Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create an image in Adobe After Effects and then transport it with a transparent background. So if there's something that you wanted to create in After Effects but you wanted to keep the transparent background so you could import it into Photoshop or something like that, I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So I'm just starting by creating a new composition and I'm just going to set it at 1200 by 1200 and I'm only going to be creating one frame for this since I'm only going to be using this for an image file to import into Adobe Photoshop. So to start I am going to be creating a solid black background um, but later we are going to be deleting that because we don't want that um, as part of our composition when we're exporting. So at first I am going to go to layer new solid and I'm just going to be creating a black background so I'm going to change the color to black and click OK. Next I'm going to create another solid. This is going to be the sphere layer so I'm going to go over to effects and presets and we're going to start with a fractal noise. So we're just going to be going under effects and presets and we're going to do a search for fractal noise and we're going to be dragging that into our sphere layer. And now I'm just going to change the fractal type to dynamic progressive. And I'm just going to bring the contrast down and change noise type to linear. And then we're going to go back over to effects and presets and I'm going to type in CC sphere. And I'm just going to bring the radius up a little bit. And under light, um, you can change the light settings. So as you can see, as I rotate this, it changes the position that the re light reflects on. Now I'm going to go back over to effects and presets and I'm going to select colorama and I'm just going to drag that into the layer. And I'm going to go to output cycle and I'm going to use the preset solarize red. And now I'm just going to add a curves adjustment as well. So I'm going to drag that into my layer. And now I'm going to select my background layer and hit delete because I'm going to, we don't want the background when we export our footage. <coughs> and if you're not happy with the way it looks, you can always go back to the fractal noise and try the different fractal type settings to get the look that you're going for. So once you're happy with your result, we can start exporting our footage. So what we're going to do is go to File, Export, and we're going to be using the Adobe Media Encoder. So just go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Now it's going to pop up. So now instead of JPEG, you want to select the PNG file because the PNG file will export a transparent background for you. So now I'm in Photoshop and I'm just going to show you when I drag in that sphere layer that we exported from Adobe After Effects. As you can see, the background is transparent and the only thing that is imported into Photoshop is the sphere that we created in After Effects. And that's it for this quick tip on how to export a transparent background image in Adobe After Effects. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more quick tips and tutorials like this.